What's up, guys? How are we doing? So, I'm back, and uh, it's been, like, what, nearly... Probably nearly six weeks, I reckon? <coughs> and, uh, yeah, I've been gone. I've been uh, doing a bit of soul-searching, thinking about how I wanted to tackle things going ahead with, you know, all my personal stuff. I'm not going to get into my personal stuff. Just uh, wanted to let you guys know that I'm back. I'm going to be working on videos, and... Uh, all that sort of stuff, videos for those, both this channel and the Iron Helm and all that sort of stuff. Uh, my Patreon will be going back online. I think it's already online, but that will be going back online. I'm going to be dicking around with a few of the uh, few of the stuff. And uh, yeah, so what do we have today? We have a 50 PED hunt and we're down here at Jason Center because we're going to be killing some of these Cordatogs. I was going to kill these guys, but I'll find those guys at a later date. So, yes, we have a BC-25, and we're going to be killing these guys. We're going to start with this nice little alpha here. <clears throat> now, I haven't... Uh... I haven't hunted any higher level uh, quarter to... I say higher level. These are higher level, but I haven't hunted... Higher maturity Cordatogs in a, a long time, I reckon. I think uh, not since I found a bunch. I don't know, maybe two or three years ago. And I don't think that mob is there anymore. I think they've moved. You know, they've uh, moved spots. But I saw that you know Jason Center has higher level Cordatogs, so I'm like, why the hell not? Why the hell not? I might be able to get my, um, might be able to get my challenges up and all that sort of stuff. And I might be able to even see exactly what these guys tend to drop in higher levels. We're only working with 50 PED today. So hopefully we can find a good, we get a good rate, a good cluster of them, and we're able to sort of get in and just smash that ever loving shit out of them. Because... At the end of the day, the quicker... Okay, so, in my humblest of humblest of opinions, ladies and gents, the quicker you can get through a hunt, the better, right? Because, okay, think about it this way. If you're going to be killing X amount of whatever mob, <clears throat> the quicker you can get through, the better. And of course, the quicker you're able to kill a mob, as long as you don't go through too much ammo burn. we got some drones around here, so we're going to be going back this away, and hopefully not... Stirring up any of the drones. Hopefully not uh, gaining the ire of these uh, robotic bastards. But yes, so <clears throat> what? Uh, what I was trying to say. See, it's been like six weeks, guys. You got to bear with me. Like being gone for that long, it really throws off the groove just a little bit. But give me about three or four videos, and I should be. I should be A-OK, -okay, ladies and gents. I should be back to my former glorious self. And uh, that's that's uh, that's definitely the aim. To return to our former glorious self and hopefully get a few globals or even a hoff along the way. Yeah, so the quicker you can kill a mob, you know, the quicker you can cycle through... Uh, ammunition and all that sort of stuff. Just sort of the quicker you'll be able to see whether or not you're going to be getting anything good. Oh, it's not too bad. Nearly 7 PED. Nearly 7 PED. 7 big ones. Now, I want to see where the rest of them are. Uh, maybe they're not as spread out down here as I thought they were. Or, yeah, maybe they're not as clustered as I thought they were going to be. Maybe I'll find them a little bit further up this way. <clears throat> but all this searching allows us to sort of get reacquainted. And I've seen that uh, I've got, you know, quite a few new new uh, people that have subscribed. And uh, welcome to the channel. My name's Scott. I do Entropy Universe on this channel. On my other channel, The Iron Helm, is where I'm going to be doing all my RPG adventure -y sort of shit. Yeah, I'm going to be doing all that over there. Splitting them up, keeping them separate. That way you know, you know, what you're going to get from whatever. So, 
If that's something you're interested in, feel free to check it out. There's nothing on there at the moment. There will be uh, probably later on this week, though. Bit of a busy week. I've got my sister flying down from uh, up north, so it would be, uh, you know, everything's like, we, we were worried that she might not be able to because uh, those of you that aren't aware, some of you that are uh, maybe across the pond over in uh, different, different countryronies. Australia's been pretty good when it comes to the coronavirus pandemic. Yeah, we've been pretty good. Um, but recently, a couple of, uh, we've had the Delta variant come over to our fine, fine, sunny country. And, uh, it kind of, uh, screwed the pooch for a few people. Um, it definitely, it's definitely fucked up New South Wales. Um, there, you know, you got people following the rule, like, following the advice and doing as they're told. And you got others that aren't, and it's just spreading. You know, the virus is just spreading. But that's, you're gonna have that, you're gonna have people... You're going to have people that uh, either believe that social distancing and self-isolation and all that sort of stuff is what needs to be done, wearing masks and all that sort of stuff, and then you're going to have the others that believe that their rights are being infringed upon by being told that they have to do X, Y, and Z. And I, I, I get that. I understand that people feel like that's, uh, you know, stepping on their rights or whatever, but I don't know. It's uh, this sort of thing big, big, really bad shit that sort of makes you go, yeah, well, you may have your rights, but everyone else also has their rights not to get sick. So if you're sick, please stay home. Please don't mingle in the community. But you, you can't really, con like, in my opinion, you can't really control that sort of shit, yeah? You just can't. You know, people are going to do what people do, and we just have to put up with the repercussions of said people's actions. Now what the fuck are these? Are these plants? Oh, they're like roots. What the fuck is this? Look at this fucking thing. It's a monster of some... It's, it's, a, it's a dead monster of some kind. Whatever the fuck it is. I've never seen them before. So maybe they're like an old mob that was around and... That's their carcass or whatever. I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know. Anyway, how are we going? We're about... Well, about a third in. We're about fifth... Yeah. What was that? We're about 12 PD in. Well, 12, 13, 12 to 13, nearly 13 PD in, and we're got about 16 back, so, you know, we take, if we account for decay, well, it looks like we're about breaking even. Yeah, we're about breaking even if we account for decay and all that sort of shit. Um, hopefully we can get a global, though. If we get a global, that would be, that'd be nice. It'll put everything at the right sort of level. And, you know, we can walk away feeling nice and happy. We'll get the swirlies gone. You know, we'll get the trumpets, the dirt, dirt, dirt. You know, everything will be nice. But we got we got to get that global in order for that to happen, ladies and gentlemen. But in order for that to happen, you need to like the video. You need to subscribe. By the way, for those that don't know, once I hit 1,000 subscribers, I will be doing a 2,000 PED giveaway. That 2000 PED giveaway will be a little bit of a community event on this channel. I'll be setting up a couple of uh, different things. We'll be doing a live stream. We'll be doing a hangout. And of course, anything that's donated in that live stream will also go towards the giveaways and all that sort of stuff. So, you know, it'll increase the pot size, right? And uh, we'll do we'll do, a, we'll do a, a, a good amount of stuff. It's going to be good fun. I might even give away some items and things like that, just for a little bit of fan, a little bit of a potluck sort of thing. And, uh, li li little bit of a fun, fun thing. So, yeah. But well, we need to hit a thousand subscribers th first, so, like, if you're, if you're new to the channel and haven't subscribed, what are you doing? Hit the subscribe button. It's free. 100% free. I promise. There's no hidden, hidden fees or charges with hitting the subscribe button. No one likes hidden fees and charges. I, for one, hate hidden fees and charges, because, you know, it's basically robbery. I mean, 
you will incur a little bit of an electricity bill if you were to binge watch my stuff. Hey, Subakumas and hey, Longu. Ah, look at these guys. Got a Subakuma Alpha, and we got a Longu over there. Hey, Mr. Longu, how you doing, dude? Okay, maybe we'll get to kill some of these Subakumas as well. What am I doing? What am I doing? What are you doing, Scott? Subakumas, Subakumas. Starts with a Ness. There it is. I'm track. He wasn't tracking to begin with. Can't untrack what wasn't being tracked. Mm. You know, I'm probably just going nuts, but I could have sworn that went down from like 63 down to 62. It was probably like 61.3 or some shit like that. But it looked like it went down. <laughs> it did indeed look like it went down. I was doing, um... What was I doing? I was doing a little bit of a thing. A few weeks back. And I was doing a bunch of, uh, just hunting, like, doing some swanting of the Subakuma hatchlings, right? I got, like, two globals in a row. From the Subakumas. The hatchlings. I got one, but boom, it was a 10 PED, and then I got another one, and it was a 12 PED. Bang, bang. Straight in a row. It was fucking stupid. I've never, and I mean, never gotten something like that. Never, ever gotten a, uh, fucking, uh, you know, that sort of a thing from that lower level. I mean, I've gotten globals from, like, level zeros before. Like, I think before I took my break, I had a global from the Subakuma hatchlings. Um, and, you know, of course I've globaled off of, uh, you know, the punies and things like that before. You do global off them every so often. It's just when they, you know, when they have the, um, you know, the higher loot multipliers in them, you know, when they say, oh, give back 250,000% or some shit like that. You know, then they'll turn around and give you back a lot more than what you put in. Like, that's, that's how globals work. You know, RNG, ran just a random throw of the dice. You know, a random number of generations saying this guy right here deserves a lot of money for no reason at all it's like when i um when i got that uh oh what was it, it was a half i was it was one of the hoppy boys you know one of the um tripudions i think they're called i just call them hoppy boys it was like a level uh five no he might have been a level eight I'm not sure but anyway i i i fucking hoffed off of him for like I think it was over a thousand PED. I think I actually got a video of that up on this channel at some point, showing the insanity of what can happen. And it is a bit of an insanity thing. It, it is. It is a bit bit nuts when you get shit like that. It just it just blows your mind. You go out there with like fifty PED, start shooting stuff, and all of a sudden you come back with like a thousand. Walk in there with 5 USD, you walk out with 100 USD. It's quite nice when that happens. It doesn't always happen, ladies and gentlemen. If you are only just starting to play this game, that is not how it runs. N no, it's it's all it's all luck. And at the end of the day, it's all luck. You know, if you can get to a point where you're able to um, play off of your ped flow, you know, you're able to come in, take like 10 bucks each day, like or 10 PED each day. Uh, if you can get 100 PD, you know, 10 US dollars of uh, stuff each day, then one, you got a good amount of deeds, so you've probably been playing for a good amount of time, or you just flushed a shitload of money down the drain, well, not down the drain, but into Entropia. You know, you just pushed so much cash into Entropia that you are now just bringing in the money, you know? Or there be 100. So 100 PD a day, that would be... Yeah, I'll be like, 10 USD a day. What would that be across an entire year? So, 10... So, that'll be, what, 3? How many days in a year? 365? So, 3,360... No, 3,000... 3,650? I don't fucking know. I can't do math today. Can't do math today, ladies and gentlemen. It's just... It's just not in my repertoire, it's not in my, you know, my availability to talk and speak. But, uh, 
yeah, so... I got a lot of good good messages and a lot of lot of well wishes, you know, when I said that I needed to take a break. And I needed to take a break, ladies and gentlemen. I needed to figure shit out. I need to figure out figure out myself, you know. I had to figure out what the fuck am I doing? I had to figure out a lot of stuff. And luckily for me, I think I figured it out. I figured out a lot of things, ladies and gents. There's a lot of stuff that was playing on my mind, a lot of things that were going on that I'm not dealing with them as harsh, like, I'm not dealing with as harsh a thing as I was. And I feel like I've been able to sort of step back, detox just a little tiny bit from, you know, from stuff. Mainly from, it's gonna sound dumb, but, you know, working on things. And surprisingly enough, with about two or three weeks after saying that I was gonna take a break, I actually wanted to record, I wanted to do stuff, right? But I just wasn't in the right state of mind. I wasn't in the right mental state to really, you know, I was trying to, I was, I was, you know, recording a video. I actually, in that day, I recorded three hunts and then I deleted all of them because I didn't like any of them, right? I just wasn't feeling it. Like when you're in a shit mood, you really don't want to record. You want to, you just don't want to do shit. I was in a shit mood. Absolutely terrible mood, but I wanted to record, but I ended up removing those, deleting those, because I just didn't, mm. and it wasn't like I recorded four and I was going to put out all four, I was only going to put out one, but I would record, not like that video, record again, not like that video, record again, not like it. I think when it got to the fourth video, I got about halfway through it, I'm like, ah, fuck this. Fuck this. And then I stopped. And uh, then I just started playing the game without, you know, without recording or anything like that. I was just playing and I enjoyed myself. I threw on some Twitch. Uh, and then, uh, you know, I just hung out. I did a few things and uh, I think I did some sweating. I did some sweating, then some swanting. Kind of uh, got back to my uh, my roots, as uh, so to speak. I got back to my my roots as a player because when i first started playing i used to do a lot of sweating i'll do a lot of sweating and then i'll do a lot of hunting and i would always make sure that i would uh you know i had some people that were buying sweat from me they were buying it for about uh i think it was 1.7 or 1.8 pd per k so what i'll do is I'd do a hunt, and then I'd go and sweat the difference. And uh, usually, like, if I if I do, a hunt, like, a 10 PED hunt, nine times out of ten, I would have come back with, like, you know, seven to eight PED, unless, unless I got a good excess, right? But even if I broke even on a hunt, I would still go out, and I think I would sweat, like, I don't know, 250 bottles of sweat, something like that. I'd go to Bores and sweat 250. And if I wanted to, you know, not... You know, if I wanted to go out and swant, you know, I'd go out and swant, but... Okay, well, it looks like we're not going to be getting that global today, ladies and gents. We got, you know, just over 80 shots left. We're probably going to get to kill 15. Maybe. Uh, maybe 10, yeah, 10, 15, maybe. And I doubt we're going to get a global from any one of those, ladies and gents. Yeah, so, you know, I decided not to record anything, and then I was just doing my thing, and I felt a lot better. And over the last four, yeah, four weeks, so after that, I've been sort of just, uh, you got some fluff on you. Uh, you're my microphone, apparently. Uh, you know, I was just sort of sitting back. I was going to record the other day, but again, I was just in a shit mood. An absolute shit house mood. But I am feeling, I'm feeling better. I'm feeling quite good. And I was going to give myself a little bit longer, um, but I really wanted to get back to recording. I'm doing this. I'm going to be doing some stuff on the Iron Helm. Um, and I just wanted to get back into it, which is a good thing. You know, you're feeling better when you want to start getting back into things for realsies, you know? 
when you're you come out of your slump and you're like you know what i really want to get get into doing this stuff again which is what i'm gonna do oh and i should also mention that i'm going to be live streaming now i'm not sure if i'm gonna live i'm still up in the air whether or not i'm gonna live stream here or on twitch i have no idea okay no idea and i have no idea if i'm gonna be you know what i'm gonna be live streaming like I've got two YouTube accounts, or two YouTube channels that I'm going to be working on. This, and the Iron Helm. Logically, I'm going to want to live stream on both. If I'm live streaming Entropia, I'm going to live stream here. Everything else, like any RPG I play, is going to get streamed over on the Iron Helm. So, I don't know, man. Like, if you just want to join the Iron Helm clan for, you know, for that, it's probably a, you know, it's probably a good idea. Just to uh, see me... Are these tongues? Yeah, these are tongues, yeah? Are these plants, then? Are these plants, or are these animals? I can't fucking tell. They're ugly, whatever the fuck they are. Mind dog, why do you make such ugly animals and in, in plants in your game, huh? I mean, these guys are kind of cute. You know, they got their, like... Six or eight eyes, whatever the fuck number that is. I saw three on each side, but I don't know if there was like a fourth above that I just didn't see. But nah. So I'm gonna be I'm gonna be blah, blah, blah. I'm gonna be live streaming uh, at the end of the year. Uh, at the end of the year. At the end of the month. There. At the end of the month, I'm gonna be uh, starting my diploma in uh, game and visual effects. Because, yeah, I got accepted, all that sort of shit, so I'm going to be doing that, and then I'm going to go on to do the advanced diploma, and then after that, probably go on to university, if, if I wasn't satisfied with what I had learnt from the diplomas. I mean, I'm never satisfied. It's just the one thing that I never am. I'm never satisfied. It just doesn't work out like that when it comes to me. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to kill this one. We're going to see if we can kill one more. Depending on how much, um, how many shots we have left. All right, we might be able to kill one more. If we can't kill one more with the ammunition, we'll use like a sword or whatever to finish it off, to put it out of its misery. Okay, yeah, we can kill this one. And done. And no globals, but we will go back and we will look and see what we got. So we got about 50% back from that. Uh, we might be... Nah, we're not gonna... Looks like we're gonna be down... Or... Oh. If I mix in the decay of that... Yeah, we're gonna be down by like 10 PED, ladies and gents. Gonna be down by about... Yeah, by 10 PED. So... And, and th these guys didn't really drop anything interesting. Um... And we did do a blend of Subakuma, and that was our one uh, longer. I mean, the basic cloth extract is not bad, that bad, but we didn't get much. But we did get plenty of animal eye oil, and we got muscle oil, so at least I know a good place to get some eye oil. These happy chappies up over here. So, we're going to triple check, see what we got back, and then once we know what we got back, we will call it there for the day, ladies and gents. It's good to be back. It is good to be back. And, uh, oh god, I had to sneeze, and oh my god, I have this bad habit of holding my nose when I sneeze, and it's, I'm gonna kill myself one day, I'm gonna get like an aneurysm or some shit. So, yeah, we're, I'd say we're down by about nine or ten, probably about nine, I didn't, no, I didn't heal up my armor, did I? I'm a bit of a dumb dumb. Yeah, so I can't really get a proper, proper guess, but I've been wearing this armor for like, I don't know, it's on like 20 hunts now. And, uh, yeah, so I think we lost about 10 PED, which does suck, but it could be worse. We could have lost a lot more. We could have lost less, but we, we lost, could have lost more. So you got to take the good 
with the bad, ladies and gents. Anyway, I hope you're all doing good. Subscribe if you're new. And uh, if you want to see some RPG shit, in the uh, description will be a link to the Iron Helm. Anyway, anyway, I hope you're all doing good. Um, I hope everyone's safe and well. I hope everyone's had a good, you know, few weeks. I say six weeks. I hope everyone's had a good, uh, good, you know, cluster of weeks. Cluster of weeks is a good one. Year and a uh, year and a half, month and a half. Uh, it's gonna take some time getting used to this again. But anyway, if you want to support me on Patreon, <laughs> you'll find that in the description as well. I'm gonna be uh, fucking around with the stuff there. So, yeah. Take it easy, guys, and I'll see you all. <laughs> I'll talk to you in the next one.